Potato. Live it up, live it up, give it up, give it up. It's okay to not shake. Okay, okay. Live it up. Potato. Okay, let's see this. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Change, okay. There might be more. 
Potato. Yo, what's up guys? So, as always, we took the time and we looked through our notes and we also looked at the lyrics because, you know, show them because we ain't fake here. So, anyway, so, there's a lot to talk about and I feel like, feel free for to talk about the production first, the lyrics, and we, ugh, that's just so much. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot. So, screw it, I'm going first. Okay, I like the uh, warehouse aspect of it um, and like the lights and like kind of like the abandonment. I don't know, I just feel like when you think of a warehouse, you think of like, you know, like post something. Yeah. And it's like, oh, new development here, but then there's all these warehouses that are left over. Mm. Type of thing. So that's like kind of like what I thought. I mean, the, the, the very beginning though, he's, he's like the movie credit cut. Like, come on, it's about to be a movie. Like, I instantly love that because it's letting me know whatever is next in this song, in this video, it's about to be focus on it because this is about to be a movie. Like, oh, I love that. I love yeah. That. I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. And especially like speaking of just like the effects and the visuals of it, I like the transitions. We're on set, you know? Yeah, I know. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It's like bringing. Yeah, it's it's like it, it kind of almost takes it. I don't know it takes away from like the. It's like you're seeing the behind the scenes. You're following the journey more than it is just starting off already. They, they cut. It's like they're starting here and you're following them throughout the whole thing. And like the transitions from like the girl to the office person, how they did all those black, sh you know, from yeah. black to black, because because you could edit it well because there's so much black that you could you could overlay yeah, stuff that. and then it would just so come. It's like a flotation of history. Like, oh, you know like I mean? the, timeline the timeline thing. Timeline, the world's gonna change. Oh, <laughs> oh, that makes so much sense. Oh yeah, like did it do? Did it? Oh yeah, because like time. yeah, because it was going through all the people, right? Mm -hmm. But then the second lap around, the the the, 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 uh, the black guy and the white girl had the TV thing on. The office guy was all covered in cords and stuff. And so. you started to see more color too. And like some of like a shirt was maybe blue or Wale was in a red pattern in the back. You saw it a little bit more. Color. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, I was going to mention that because originally it was only the white glow that the girl had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. So I, I wonder what the significance of the girl and then the whole white girl and black guy thing are like, you know, from like a racial and like a gender thing, yeah. those like are like the two, you know, very like statements so wise, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I wasn't sure when I, I originally saw that, I was like, okay, change, I see, is it from a social way? Because I see that already. And like the way he was dressed up kind of gave you that like 60s vibe of okay. like racism is still kind of going on, kind of feel, you know, like the way he was dressed. I don't know what they think. Yeah, actually, yeah, comment below, what do you guys really think? Know. Yeah, definitely. Blow my mind. Yeah, that, that was great. So let's get straight into the lyrics because I think it gets pretty crazy when you get into the lyrics. So, um, the way this was structured, it didn't really label like um, verse one, verse two, verse three. Well, I guess it did, but I don't know. Like compared to the other one, it's a lot easier to organize because this they kind of went bang. So <laughs> we're gonna go through. And sorry guys, but there might be some parts where um, pretty much, a, a, as you guys know by now, this is uncut all much. By the way, I completely forgot to mention that. But pretty much that um, we might have to take a second to like read and find what we, what we want. But we'll just read out loud sorry, for them. Yeah. You know, might as well. Okay, so. Mine's kind of deep in there before I start saying what I want to yeah. say. So, yeah, so. I mean, mine just should be in the beginning. The beginning? The, when, okay. Yep. It says, um, oh, tell me, oh, tell me that wrong could never win the right. Oh, shit. It's, oh, tell me who's stupid, baby, is it me or them? I love that. I love that because it's almost like. Is this ignorance stupid, or am I just stupid for not liking the ignorance? Oh my God, that's how, that's what that meant? Like, that's what I get. No, okay, like that's the cider yeah. aspect, like, just cause you, oh my um, God. Seriously, cause. I think that's really spot on. Comment below, was she spot on on that? Cause that, oh, that does make sense, them. Usually them is DJ Khaled, they. They don't wanna don't see win. you succeed. You know, as funny and entertaining as that is, he does at the same time speak some truth. You know, it's crazy. Yeah, you're right. Cause then it goes off and then goes into, uh, what does it say? Just tell me who's insane, baby, is it me or them? In this crazy world after patience, could we get the pearl? So I, I, I looked at the like meaning on a Genius and pretty much is like the world is your oyster thing, which then makes sense. Cause he's yeah. comparing they to them, the world. And then brings it right back into it. Wow, that was a good call. You've been you've been calling the good I'm stuff. I feel like I feel like you're really taking my conversation to a deeper level. I appreciate yeah. it. And, yeah. Yeah. Anything you say? 
Oh, I was gonna say like this video alone, like it just it kind of brings that out of you. I don't know, just me watching it. Uh -huh. We're just sitting here like so many epiphanies as we're writing these lyrics down. Like, oh, this can be this, this can be that. Like, I think it's all in the video. It wants us to be drawn into a deeper meaning, but yeah. it's still a dope video. Yeah, at the same time, definitely. Yeah. And especially, you need to talk more because <laughs> if I'm talking too loud, just do this or eh, and then I literally shut up because you're saying it's a lot of fire, and I'm realizing I might have been talking too much. So yeah, so let's yeah, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. So do you have anything else in here? Oh, yeah. oh yeah, I think it's in the next stanza though. Next stanza? Okay. Are you next? Uh, I'm in Wale. Mm, okay. Yeah, uh, uh, where's yours at? Mine's is... Choo -choo -choo. Here you go, here you go. Don't mind me while I sit here. Anyway guys, so watch the looks for your lyrics guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and be part of Post Notification Squad. Uh, second of all, I do also have a Snapchat group message. Okay, tonight, uh, okay, uh, tonight. just add me on Snapchat down there and then pretty much I'll add you into that group story. Third of all, I also have a vlog channel as well too, where right now we're running season one of uh, Tanashi Before K-Pop. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm you, ready. You, you, you should have interrupted me oh, a while that's ago. Rude. No, that's fine, cause, like, <laughs> I, I'm just saying announcements, that's all it is. <laughs> all right, I found it guys. It says, if hope is a taste, what's yours? What you eat all day? What you eat all day? Bro, on, he needs to on. stop with these epiphanies. Like, I know you felt it. I don't even have to say anything. I know you guys felt that. Like, yeah, and it's oh my god, this is so crazy because um some some like personal stuff happened, you know, and and, and my dad said I said like the best like quote when he was like, it's not worth living unless you're like living for something for someone and like yeah, the idea of hope, you know, like doing things every single day. Like, why are you living? Like, what's what's that thing pushing you and like wanting to do greater things? Like, comes back to like hope. Yeah, he makes me feel like I've been starving. I mean, I have hope, but it's like taste. If you're gonna continue to have hope, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why just keep going. You're free. Know what I mean? Like what you eat all day. He's he's trying to be sarcastic because you know it's almost like you haven't been eating because you don't have hope. Hope is your taste to keep eating. You have not been eating. The world is starving. The world's starving. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think like. I, I would have, no, I wouldn't have gotten it that deep. I'm, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, if you were not here, I don't think I would have gotten it that deep. Dang, but okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, I definitely see what you're saying. Okay, that makes so much sense. Yeah, comment below, guys, like, when you have times of, like, you know, struggle, do you have hope as a taste? Is that something that you you eat off? Or, like, how do you deal with those aspects? And, like, how do you, you know, overcome it? Because at the end of the day, you can... Hope is that thing that like makes you like push forward without knowing what's on the other side, right? Yeah. Pretty much, mm -hmm. like it's like like that falls. Fuel. Yeah, that fuel. Yeah, not knowing what's gonna happen. Yeah, damn, that's crazy too. Cause I was thinking about it too and realizing like, um, since like even doing YouTube, you know, like when I first started getting into, it, I didn't really know K-pop. So I was like, you know, I'm I want to be a YouTuber. I've been doing YouTube for a while. I'm just gonna do it. And I'm starting to reach this point where the motivation that's keeping me from going every single day is becoming back to my family again you know like i think in the beginning when i went into k-pop i didn't know that there was opportunity you know yeah. so, but now that i'm seeing the growth and the possibilities i'm like wow what's keeping me now from posting every like, single day is the fact that i can use this to help my family and like it's like having motivation in something that could not be there tomorrow makes it that much more like pleasing to work towards something mm -hmm. yeah because like those like a family death and stuff too so it, like made me realize that like yeah. Like when you work towards something that like isn't getting like because materialistic things can always be there you know that's but if something that's not there is that that's kind of line up the mood side note i just ate a big bag of marshmallows it took me 10 minutes i shouldn't have ate it but it made me feel good so oh yeah well you're right yeah you're right cause i'm getting all depressed <laughs> and sad right now I'm like, ah, yeah. you're like oh this is not the uh i did not sign up to hear a rant right now i'm just trying to hear the lyrics you're right you that's a what? good point you're right i'm taking that down thank you that's you call me out, you say, hey, yo, come, hold it good, hold it tight, bro, come back, come back, you drop, <laughs> okay, bring it out, okay, so let's keep it going, okay, so, let's keep it going here, so then, have anything else in here before we hit, hit the Wale, okay, so I want let's hit the Wale right now, okay, so, I want to talk about something that just blew my mind, that, um, I think everyone can obviously talk about, and he said, pretty much said, um, when, he said, and if, if I could change the world with the pen, oh, no, no, that's from the last end. Let's start here. He says, when it's time to vote, the people turn to mannequins. Challenge that. First of all, that kind of got me going, whoo, crap. You know, talking about the whole idea, obviously, of the 2016 election with Trump thing and the voter turnout. And obviously, there's also notes 
in, in depth, but I'm not gonna go in, in, into that. But then I realized RM had said something earlier up mm. here about Twitter and like how he said we said uh, what was it? P uh, kill uh, what was it? Kill people with with kill people with fingers on Twitter more than a gun, more than a knife. And you know the connection of social media. You know, yeah. like obviously the music video too. We had that the people with the screens like. Like the death isn't you guys being on, you know, Twitter talking about retweet this for gun control, you know, like that's not helping the overall change, you know, and like then Wale also brings up the same thing, like yeah. we're so focused on these challenges and doing these things online, so what change are we actually like making and, and, and obviously that's something that as I grow this channel I'm trying to figure out like yeah we're talking about how K-pop inspires us, we're talking about this change, but soon we're going to be doing stuff in the community K-pop inspired, I don't know what yet. Mm. I want to put that stay teaser tuned. in there. You know, had to stay tuned, subscribe, <laughs> post notification squad. Okay, but anyway, so then let's go down here. So Wale, buddy, I'm just curious because you also made a great point yeah. about this. So I'm not gonna blurt we don't out her part. Agree. We don't always agree. You don't always agree. So he, so he said here, right? He said, um, "I'ma keep it G forever, keep it low key. Take a trip to South Korea with some DC OGs, Chief and OG, Chief and OG." So at first I read the take a trip from South Korea with some DCOG. I'm thinking, you know, what is he talking about? He might be talking about his DC like original gangsters. Mm -hmm. Oh, he might be talking about smoking. But I'm thinking, you know, they don't smoke in Korea. But then the next line says Chief and OG. So I'm like, yeah, he's talking about that marijuana. <laughs> he's talking about that Kush. <laughs> and OG, you know? And I'm thinking, can he do that though? You know what I'm saying? So I went ahead and was like, no, I didn't get any of that. The biggest thing that I got from that was like, yeah, the smoking, Korea, but the whole song in the chorus, like a little bit up ahead, is like the world is going to change. So what if he's inferring that him chief and OGs in, in South Korea with his, with his OGs is going to happen? You know what I mean? It's going to be legal. He's just thinking ahead of time because the whole song is about the world is going to change. He's not saying it may change. It's going to change. Yeah. LPV. In South Korea. Yeah, and it's me. okay. Yeah, you do. Yeah, don't call. We don't want. We don't want any calls coming in. You know, internationally. Take take that channel down. False advertisement. That's that's what we're trying to say here. It's all interpretation. It's a reaction video. But um, I just want to stop for a second and say, guys, make sure to go. Please follow her on Instagram. What's your Instagram? Right Underscore Amber World. Yeah, because I think I really like when I keep saying this, you are bringing a new level of like thinking to my discussions and like realizing that no matter because before like you being on I felt like whenever we like uh, did stuff and read lyrics with like people on my show mm. we were kind of reading it line by line mm. not bringing it back to the theme of the song yeah. and you literally just brought a different element like I think this was the song for it this was meant to be <laughs> this was meant to be guys you know like you, you, you did the same thing also in the Jesse and Gucci reaction as well too you, you did a good job of connecting it back but, I, so let's keep it going. Follow her on Instagram. She does have a YouTube. Should you make a YouTube? Should I make a YouTube? Should she make a YouTube channel? Would you guys subscribe to her? Is she interesting enough? Is she? I mean, if she's not. <laughs> you, I mean, I, okay. <laughs> maybe she keep coming on mine instead, you know? Oh, probably not, because you're, you're not good enough to make a channel. Oh. But you're probably not good enough to be on my show. Oh, that's, that's how it works. <laughs> anyway, so, I think I have one more note in here. So this is like, the game changer for me, okay? Mm -hmm. This is what made me go, okay, Wale, I've been sleeping on you a lot, and obviously you have been not in the US as much, like, trending, is has it, he? Um, I haven't heard much about him, but that's just me. Yeah, it's mainstream. It's not really mainstream. Yeah, you know, he's but- He's here, he's here, guys. He's here, but I don't know where, because I haven't heard of him in a while, but also, I'm not into the American hip hop scene yeah. as much anymore, though. Because I'm about the K-pop life. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he said this line now. here, right? <laughs> huh? That's a me too now. Yeah, hey, we're, <laughs> we're converting one at a time, everyone, one at a time. Okay, so he said here, right? He said, I believe that real friends love you to no limit. I believe th that real change lies in the mirror, yeah. So I really love that because it's the aspect, okay, so earlier on, I should probably have some more pretext in that. He was basically summarizing and talking about how he sees the progress in his daughter's eyes. He talks about, okay, she, okay, screw it, I'll read it. I see the progress via my daughter's eyes. I, I think, I think too much now. I drink too much now. I numb it because I don't want to cry. Praying for better pace for you and I. 
Uh, and then, you know, pretty much I see some grass growing in the winter's eyes. I think too much. Of so obviously, you know, but he also then says he, he doesn't want to die. He said, I don't want to die. But pretty much, obviously, you always see change in the youth. Mm -hmm. The way that they act, uh, the way they view, you know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, yeah. as, you know, as we, us as older people and role models, we want to, you know, form and help kids, you know, see what we see. But in the day, they're going to see things differently. So if you see in your youth what they're doing, that's pretty much the future. Total so side note. He looks like a baby. He has a baby face. Not Who? My, not my lady. No. Oh, RM? Yeah. RM. He's a baby face. Rap Monster? He's not expecting that voice at the beginning. Oh, yeah. Everyone always is like that. He, no, you need to watch uh, Not Today. Yeah. The Not Today music video. Mm, not Today. Okay, I obviously butchered that. But yeah, he, he kills it. But then... Let's bring it back to the why I've been yeah. saying all that long ass story. Anyway, goddammit. She's like, oh my god, bro. Side note, side note. Okay. I like that. I like you. <laughs> you like to keep things going. I appreciate that, guys. Like, videos are gonna get crispier from her. I don't, I'm gonna be recording by, like, by myself with her behind the camera with the, with the timer. <laughs> Next topic. Next topic. Anyway, so I bring that up because he then pretty much says the whole, you know, I, I believe that real friends love you too. No, love you too. I don't know why two doesn't have two O's, but no limit. I believe that the real change lies in the mirror, and how he starts off with the youth aspect of it, and then brings out like the the sees the change, the sad part. But then every time when people get sad, what's the first thing you usually do? You blame. You look for help. You blame the external. You blame the world. You blame X, Y, and Z. He's like, yo. I know your friends are telling you this. I know you were waiting for your friend or waiting for confirmation from X, Y, and Z. But at the end of the day, look in the mirror. It only takes you to get a change to go. That's real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. That's, that's why I had that's that build up. Deep. That's deep. Okay. You know? Yeah, okay. <sighs> Tanache. Tana okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because, like, it be like that sometimes where I felt like I kept needing to have more people on my channel all the time to do this, but my people on Twitter was just telling me like, no, we, we, you can go on by yourself or I feel like I need confirmation from someone. Is this video good? Yeah. Or should I make this move? Or should I? In the day, they might say it's not good. Potato. Like, live it up, live it up, give it up, give it up. It's okay to not shay. Got this on replay. It's okay to not shay.